From traditional kopi diams to modern cafes, Singapore's coffee culture has undergone a massive change. As more people flock to modern cafes, an older generation of kopi diams quietly head into their last lap. Established in the early 1970s, Hyap Sing Leong Kopi Diam has remained unchanged, even as the surrounding landscape undergo a complete facelift. Besides their signature offering kopi guyu, a cup of fragrant black kopi topped with a spoonful of butter, what are some of the reasons that keep customers coming back day after day? Um, actually, more of nostalgia, I like, see, because um, I see this place, uh, as I say, is relatively untouched. There's a certain, uh, there's a certain feel to it, like, that um, you just can't find in uh, more commercialized places. Unfortunately, many kopitiams like Hyap Seng Leong that have stood resiliently through Singapore's early years are slowly being phased out. A variety of reasons contribute to this. As these Gopitams toil away silently, modernization and globalization have started a new chapter in Singapore's coffee scene. Modern cafes like the Mason Eco Crew have sprouted up all over Singapore and have attracted large groups of coffee lovers to their premises. So basically, okay, we have four owners. Mm -hmm. So basically, they, they actually had a dream to open a cafe. Yeah. They, each of them have their own businesses mm -hmm. outside. So, but uh, they like coffee a lot. Mm -hmm. So one day, somebody just proposed opening a cafe and four of them got together. And it became Coco Crunch. These cafes cater to the changing demands of the younger generation and are proving to be a profitable venture for the business minded. It's not really just the cup of coffee itself, it's like the ambience yeah. and like sitting and sitting here and mm -hmm. like with the music and then the sound of people like talking and stuff. Yeah, I, I like this kind of environment both to do like my work and to relax as well. So uh, and I prefer like certain blends of coffee, so I like to visit cafes that suit my taste in terms of the types of coffee. Just like traditional kopi o, the western style coffee served in modern cafes also have their own unique allure. Kopi terms like Hap Sing Leong captured the heart and soul of Singapore in her early days. From the white tiled walls to the traditional cookies, to the coffee making station, the rich history and culture of early Singapore has been immortalized in this humble establishment. Many Singaporeans, both young and old, have expressed their regrets over the gradual loss of this essential piece of Singapore culture. Um, the younger generation will definitely lose out. Like, um, they won't feel, uh, they won't have that certain feel and uh, the experience that what um, my grandfather or grandmother actually uh, had in the past. Despite the dwindling consumer base, Kopi Diam owners like Mr. Xu continue to stick to their craft, preserving an important piece of Singapore history. Uh, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are.